you know, honey, honestly, I cannot wait for Annabelle to start to accept you as her stepmother. You know, <sighs> when you get to know her, you will know that she's actually a very, very nice girl. I know. I know she needs time to come around. I mean, I understand her plight, really. I've tried to put myself in her shoes sometimes, and I can understand her grievance. Her not accepting me as her stepmother is logical. She'll come around, you see. Thanks. <laughs> Enjoy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, seems very relaxing, right? Yes. I see. How are you? Very well, sir. And how's your family? Very well. Good to have you back. Thank you. And um, how was the honeymoon? How was the honeymoon? You really want to know how the honeymoon was? Uh, uh, no, I, I didn't mean it that way, sir. <laughs> I was just kidding. But it was fun. We did a lot of stuff we didn't do before. <laughs> <laughs> you can spare me the remaining details, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <clears throat> back to business. Okay. Please sit down. Thank you. Um, I saw this mail from the Prime Homes, okay. you know, uh, they were talking about the property we sold to them last year. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come check it out. So why didn't you invite me to your sister's wedding? I'm sorry, but you know I was viewing you with a different lens then. Really? <laughs> Come on. So, what kind of lens are you using to view me now? Then you were a stalker, lurking around my life, prowling and marooning. And now? You're Ike, a colleague and a friend. Hmm. You know, it's really amazing that a super duper Beatrice would call it pain ties to me a friend. As long as you don't revive your um, stalker instincts, you will remain a friend. Thank you. For what? Being a friend. Why did you do that? This is how mom arranged it before she died. She can't just come in here and read other things as if she has all the weight in this house. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, bye. Uh, Daddy, I I'm going to see my daughter tomorrow. No, it's too, it's too early to do that. Ah. Too early to visit my own daughter? Yes. 
They just let the couple are just learning to live and understand each other. So they need time to do that. But they finished their honeymoon now. Oh my dear. Is there something you forgot to teach your daughter that you just want to go there and teach her now? You visiting this early it is a recipe for disaster. They need time to adapt to changes in their lives without any undue interference. But did I say I was going there to interfere? I, I mean, I'm just going there to see her for a few days. No, I am not in support of that. The husband should know that she did not uh, fall from the sky. She came from somewhere. And I have every right to go and visit my daughter. I'm missing her. You better get used to missing her. She's gone. We've given her out. That's the reality of life. Yes. I'm having challenges understanding properly civil litigations, especially election petition. This, this seems to be something that keeps confusing me. <laughs> Don't worry. You see, election petitions happen all the time in Nigeria. We just need to get the practical materials that we could work with so we could understand fully how it works. But you know what? I have to head to the bank right now, so if you can come tomorrow morning, we could discuss it, and by then I'm sure that I've gotten some sample cases that we could study, okay? If you want me to be here 8 a.m. tomorrow, I'll be here 8 a.m. tomorrow. I must overcome this civil litigation. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Law school will be moi moyo. Don't worry, you'll get it, huh? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. All right. Dominion, are you ready to eat yet? I'm busy. Okay. Ask before you open. It's on quack. <laughs> How did you know it was me? Because you always look like this. <laughs> look at you, such an intelligent boy. <laughs> oh my. Whoa. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, how have you been? I'm feeling nauseated and infuriated about my father's remarriage. Annabelle, your father has moved on. You have to move on too. Don't get stuck. I really don't understand. It feels like I'm losing my entire family. Like I'm losing my father to this new woman. You, you see, I know that this new experience can cause some emotional havoc. But you have to move on. You have to move on. See, it makes your father happy to, be, to have an adult companion. Allow him to be happy. Please. I'm just finding it very difficult to get over my mother being replaced. I'm sure he's not replacing your mother. He just needs someone to share his life with, you know, at this stage of his life. You understand? I just hope this change doesn't create any financial, legal problems in the future. I, I... So Felicia, what are your plans after law school? Internship or clerkship? Well, my husband doesn't want me to work for now, but I will join his legal team later. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> As for me, I have two options. It's either I go to Abuja and work for my friend's father's law firm, where I get meaningful mentorship from seasoned admins with little or no pay, or I stay in Lagos I work for my uncle's real estate firm, where I get good pay, but no experience. My brother, leave experience and go and get good pay for yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's what will matter. At the end of the day, that's what will ensure that your children do not go through the same struggles that you went through. True. But I... I really love the legal profession. 
you know, I want to practice as a constitutional lawyer or, you know, work for the public service where yeah, I can make the world a better place. For me, money is really not, it's not, it's not really my priority. Well, the world is your oyster. Enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> I like your passion for the law. Hmm. So passionate. <laughs> Yeah, um, what about the car you wanted to buy then? Oh, well, the guy Clarence for me is really messing things up. After I had paid him 50% of his service fee, he comes up telling me things I can't even understand and increasing the expenses. You know, if I had known this whole procedure was going to be this stressful, I would have just gone to a local dealer and gotten myself an already cleared car. Can I get a shipping document? No, Ike. I can sort this out myself. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for coming. Um, thanks for having me around. Yeah, thanks for accepting my presence and I hope to be around again soon. Okay. Christy, you did not state why you were leaving in this letter. It was based on the advice from a psychologist. Oh. So it's a, it's a psychological problem then? Well, yes. I was advised to give myself some space from the office for now. I've been going through an emotional trauma, you know. It's been really an emotional hell for me. So, you're telling me now that, uh, that this office has something to do with your trauma, is that it? Well, yes. I've been secretly in love with somebody who doesn't love me back. And I need to be honest with myself because I know it's never going to happen. I just want to gain my emotional health back, sir. Honestly, I, I must leave, sir. Wait, let me understand this. You mean you've been in love with someone who does not love you back? Yes, sir. You, sir. Huh? Christy! Ah, Felicia, how far now? I hope you are pregnant now. Mama, what else did you call me to discuss? Felicia, I'm still your mother, remember? Look, I mean, why are you treating me as if uh, I should not concern myself about, uh, about you again? Is it a crime to, to, to ask if you are pregnant or not? Mama, I just got married. I don't need you putting me under unnecessary pressure. Pressure? Look, let me tell you. I had your sister exactly nine months after my wedding. You, you, you got married. It's, it's already three months now. Eh? You should be crossing your first trimester. Well, um, that's not part of our plans right now. What, 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 what are your plans? It's between I and my husband. Hey. Look at this girl. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> in love with you? Can you imagine? I was in great tremble. I mean, I felt this terrible shock that sent, you know, due to down my spine. Something must be wrong with her upstairs. <sighs> she, she said she has already started uh, seeing a shrink that advised her to stop coming to work so that she will not be seeing me. <laughs> but I still can't believe this, Christy. You know, she said she was actually, she's been going through some psychological hell psychological. in this office. <laughs> Look, I have some CVs for secretaries and professional <laughs> administrators. I will conduct an interview for them this week and see if anyone can work with you. My prayer is that that one too doesn't fall in love with you. Uh, oh, it is true now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my brother is a bloke, so it is natural for women to fall in love with a dashing man like you. Oh, um, yeah, right. <laughs> mm -hmm. You really try. So let's try a few more words. Now spell mouth. M-O-U-T-H. Good. <laughs> you do well. Um, spell ship. S-H-A-P-E. Great. <laughs> yes. Um, spell elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. Hey, great! You are very great. Now, I uh, spell yellow. Y e l l o w. Excellent! Ah, oh, you are indeed superb. <laughs> You're gonna go. Bye. This boy is good. <laughs> Uncle, I just called. He wants to take you to the beach tomorrow. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. The uh, spelling competition is next week, and he still has more words to practice. Is that, is that not so? So, tell Uncle Ike to choose another day, because we need tomorrow to tidy up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. Oh my god. Well, Steve, uh, I'm not going to force you. If you think or feel that you're going to hone your skills with a uh, very great uh, cerebral attorney, as against uh, working with us at uh, Lawson Estate, it's your call. You know what, Uncle I, I still need to sleep over my decisions. I mean, I'm quite aware that realities of life sometimes stares us in the face while we fantasize on the idea. But I don't want to be idealistic. I want to cogitate on some reality checks. Oh, sounds better. Honey, <laughs> come, 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 come. Steve, meet my wife, Felicia. Uh -uh. <laughs> I know Steve now. We were together in law school. <laughs> really? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, serendipity. Uh -uh. What a perfect coincidence this is. Yes, and he was so helpful to me in law school. Mm. You know, oh. when I looked at that picture, I told myself, this is Felicia. <laughs> but I just said, I'll take a closer look at it after our discussion. See you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, well, uh, uh, it's a good thing both of you know each other. But I am still going to do the formal introduction. Okay. Steve, <laughs> meet my sweet, beautiful wife, Felicia. Mm -hmm. And Felicia, <laughs> this is Steve, my nephew. Uh, Steve lives in Abuja and might be coming to live in Lagos soon. Nephew? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the uncle you spoke of that lives in Lagos. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> How do you think about discussing these things in details? Well, um, there's no point discussing it in details with a married woman. <laughs> <laughs> Joker. <laughs> oh, my. It's so good to see you, though. Just sit down now. Oh, Yeah. Wow. Oh, 
Annabelle, I want to go to the market and I uh, would like you to come with me. Why don't we make a list together? Okay. I'm not interested. is just not interested in getting along with me. Honey, try, try harder. Well, Look, I really don't want to get involved with this, okay? Besides, she's going to get to love you eventually. Come on. I will ever like her. But she's a really nice person. The wedding day is one of the saddest days of my life. It seemed like the cage I was put in the day my mother died was padlocked on that day. Daddy doesn't have time for me and my younger brother anymore. Uncle Steve, you don't understand. It's like I've lost my immediate family to a strange woman. Annabelle, I think you're being very unfair to your father to Felicia, and ultimately to yourself. Look, I think it's high time that you realize that you need to move on with your life. And that your father also needs a companion because your mother is no more. So my mom should be replaced by another woman? Annabelle, you're using way too much of a strong word there. Uncle Steve is driving me crazy. It's okay, you would get used to it with time. It's driving me crazy. Cheer up, cheer up, put a smile on your face. <laughs> Barista Steve-O. Hey, my uh -uh. auntie of life. Who are you calling auntie? <laughs> my uncle's wife is my auntie now. But you better behave yourself. Oh. You better <laughs> behave yourself. Oh. How are you doing now? How's it I'm fine now. Uh -uh, no. you. uh, You're fresh. The latest lawyer. Come inside. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Oh. Na 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 oh, oh. Crack in the wall Life is full of ups and downs Tribulation everywhere But there is a father of blood If you can only believe It might take some time But you'll surely get there my brother You will surely get there my friend You will surely get there No reward for hard work. Oh, oh, oh. My brother, don't put your trust on man, but only put your trust on God. Then will your 